This lesson will briefly discuss how to divide fractions with negatives. So again, in sixth grade, you spent a lot of time developing understanding of this, and we'll go to the efficient algorithm today. So when you're dividing, all you have to do is first rewrite mixed numbers as improper fractions, and then two, to divide, all you, you just got to multiply by the reciprocal. That's it. So some people really like this, um, this type of graphic, and I think it might help some of you. So you're just going to take your first fraction, leave it alone. The second, the division symbol, you change it to multiply. And then lastly, the fraction, you flip it over. You make it the reciprocal. So if it was 1 over 6, you flip it to one, um, 6 over 1. And then you just multiply. Again, make sure you're including the correct sign. So we multiplied these fractions earlier, and now we're going to divide them. It's negative 3 eighths divided by negative 11 twelfths. So to divide these fractions, we want to keep the first fraction the same, negative 3 eighths, and then instead of dividing, we're multiplying by the reciprocal. So instead of negative 11 over 12, we'd have 12 over negative 11. Okay? And we can do this just like we did before. Um, we can look for common factors to get rid of and reduce. So um, 3 and 11 have no common factors other than 1. 12 and 8 both share a common factor of 4. So I'm going to divide 12 and 8 both by 4. 12 divided by 4 is 3. And 8 divided by 4 is 2. So now I'm going to multiply straight across. So negative 3 times 3, negative 9. 2 times negative 11, negative 22. And notice, this is really important. This means a negative 9 over negative 22 means negative 9 divided by negative 22. Notice it's a negative divided by a negative. You guys know when we multiplied and divided integers that that answer is going to be a positive. So we never leave it in the form negative over negative. We would change this to 9 over 22. That's reduced, so it's my final answer. Okay, the next one, negative 5 6 divided by 4 15. So we're going to do the similar process here. So I'll start out um, negative 5 6 times 15 over 4. And I'm going to look for common factors and reduce everything I can. So 5 and 4 have no common factors other than 1. 15 and 6 can both be divided by 3. So 15 divided by 3 is 5. 6 divided by 3 is 2. And now I'm going to multiply straight across. Negative 5 times 5 is negative 25. 2 times 4 is 8. Negative 25 eighths, it's reduced. Or you can say 8 goes into 25 three times with one left over. So this is negative 3 and 1 eighth. I'll take either of those as a final answer. So this is fine. This is fine. All right, let's do one more. This one, again, we've got our mixed numbers, and I want to make them into improper fractions. So we did that in the previous lesson, so we'll just kind of do that quickly. Two and a half, when you write that as an improper fraction, you're going to have five halves. So this is a negative five halves, divided by, we made one and three fifths into eight fifths. So negative five halves divided by eight fifths, we are going to leave the first fraction, negative five halves, multiply by the reciprocal, five eighths, this time, it looks like we have no common fractions, or no common factors whatsoever. 5 and 8, 5 and 2 don't have common factors. So we're just going to multiply straight across. Negative 5 times 5 is negative 25. 2 times 8 is 16. And since there are no common factors, you can leave it negative 25 over 16. Or again, you can say 16 goes into 25 one time. There are 9 left over. So 1 and 9 sixteenths. Again, that was negative. Either of those is a perfectly acceptable answer. Hope this is a good refresher for dividing fractions for you.